welcome back to Nurses Lecture Room YouTube channel. My name is Mercy Mary, popularly known as Nurse with the Difference, and I make learning easy and accessible for students. Today we're going to be talking about the word immunity. What is immunity? I know a lot of us must have heard about this particular word, immunity. What is immunity? What are the various types of immunity? By the end of this class, you will be able to answer all these questions correctly. But before we go into details, you know what to do. Kindly click on the subscribe button, turn on the notification button so you don't miss out on any of our video. Let's go there. Welcome back. Like I earlier said, today we are going to be talking about immunity. What is immunity? Immunity is the ability of the body to resist disease, especially infectious ones. The ability of your body to resist disease, to fight against disease, to stop disease, is known as immunity. So if there is no immunity, if there is no immune response in our body, we will easily get down with disease, we will easily get down with infection. So immunity is what? The ability of our own body to resist what? To resist disease. There are different types of immunity and a lot of students have been complaining about how to differentiate the various types of immunity. Basically, there are two types of immunity. We have the innate immunity and the adaptive immunity. The innate immunity and the adaptive immunity. We'll start with this, which is the innate immunity. As the name innate, it simply means inbuilt. You came into this world with it. It's following you inside. It's coming out. As you are coming out or into this world, this same immunity is coming out with you. So it's inbuilt. It's coming out with you at birth. So examples, they are actually non-specific immunity present at what? At birth. Those are the innate immunity. They are non-specific. They are what? Present at birth. Examples of this innate immunity include your skin. You agree with me that your skin is protecting the inner structure, right? It's protecting your body. So the skin is one of the innate immunity. Then we have the mucous membrane, enzymes in tears and saliva. They are all examples of innate immunity. We also have actions of the white blood cell and inflammatory response. They are inbuilt. The white blood cells, the actions of the white blood cells, your inflammatory response when the, when the tissues are inflamed, they are all what? Innate immunity. They are non-specific immunity present at birth. Then that takes us to the other hand of immunity, which is adaptive or acquired immunity. As the name implies, it's not coming with you at birth. It is acquired. You acquired it. You received it. So that's why it's adaptive or acquired immunity. This particular type of immunity is divided into two. We have the natural adaptive immunity and the artificial adaptive immunity. As the name implies, natural, it simply means you acquired it naturally. Why this one? Artificially, it simply means it was injected into you. It was given to you artificially. But this particular one is acquired what? Naturally. There are two types of acquired immunity. We have the natural acquired and the artificial acquired. Under this natural acquired immunity, there are two types of natural and there are also two types of artificial. In terms of the natural acquired immunity, we have the active aspect and the passive aspect. Same way applies to the artificial, we have the active artificial acquired and the passive artificial acquired. Okay, let's begin with this one, which is the natural acquired immunity. In terms of the active natural acquired immunity, as the name implies, active, 
natural. This one is the one an individual body builds on its own, either by exposure to that disease. For example, you've heard about chicken pus. They say once you have chicken pus, you won't be able to get it again. Once you have measles, you won't be able to get it again. Why? Because the body has built an antibody against those chicken pus and those measles. So when you are affected, when you are infected with that particular disease, your body builds resistance to fall that things that are going to happen. That's why it's what active natural. It's your body that builds these antibodies after the exposure to the disease or the infection. Then the other is passive natural acquired immunity. It is gotten naturally. But how? In terms of passive natural acquired immunity, it is gotten in you through. It is gotten through our mother, from our parents at best. For example, through breast milk, through the placenta, there's immunoglobulin G and immunoglobulin A, which are given to the baby, which are transferred from the mother to the baby through the colostrum in breast milk. So those are what passive natural acquired immunity. Remember, the active natural acquired immunity is the one your body develops as a result of exposure to that infection or disease. Then the passive is the one we get from our mother, either through placenta or through breast milk. The one gotten through breast milk are your immunoglobulin G, immunoglobulin A, which are gotten through where? The colostrum of breast milk. What is colostrum? Drop the, quest, drop the answer in the comment section. Then the other is the artificial aspect of it. In the artificial aspect of it, we have two types. We have the active artificial acquired immunity and the passive artificial acquired immunity. In terms of the active artificial acquired immunity, these are the types you receive, you give to children at birth. All those your polio vaccine, your titanus vaccine, all those vaccines you give, that the body is now resistant to all those diseases. For example, now they have three headings. The first develops in response to administration of a suspension of kid organisms. For example, your pertussis, they are all from this one. Administration of a suspension of kid organism. Then also some attenuated organisms have been administered. For example, you have your poliomyelitis. Then another detoxicated organism, such as your titanus toxid. So all those vaccines you receive as a child, they are all part of what? The active artificial acquired immunity. Then this is passive artificial acquired immunity. In this passive, what happens is that antibodies are being injected into a subject. Where are these antibodies gotten from? They are gotten from people who are already immunized or who have developed antibodies. For example, I am immunized against a particular disease or I have developed antibodies against a particular disease as a result of my exposure. So in this passage, they take from me and inject this antibody into an other subject to help them out. For example, you see cases where someone gets um, infected, they will say nail, nail injury on the foot. They will tell you, have you been uh, immunized? Did you take tetanus injection? So these are examples of what? Passive artificial acquired immunity in terms of active active lasts long passive is usually for a short period of time it helps to fight it at that particular moment so active as the name is like it is very very active so that is all about the various types of immunity if you have any question kindly drop on the comment section if you have a suggestion kindly drop on the comment section don't forget to like don't forget to watch with a friend and also don't forget to share if you got value. Thanks and you have a wonderful day ahead. See you in our next video.